hearing uh, some pine needles rustle, like a stick break. And I turned around and uh, just was pretty bummed out to see a mountain lion chasing after me. <laughs> Would you know what to do? This Colorado runner came face to face with a mountain lion and with only seconds to react in tonight, hear how he wrestled and killed the cat and then managed to run three miles for help. Oof. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Andrew Heal. And I'm Shannon Ogden. This is a story that's just captivated oh. Colorado. And Denver 7's Jackie Cray joins us now with Travis Kaufman's incredible story. Jackie? So incredible. He says he and the mountain lion were an equal match and he was terrified this would turn into an ambush. But since then, he's managed to keep a sense of humor about the whole thing. Just a show of hands. Uh, who all is disappointed that I'm not, in fact, Chuck Norris? Wearing the same jacket and a few scratches from a mountain lion he fought to survive, 31-year-old Travis Kaufman made a little fun of himself. During a trail run, he heard pine needles rustle behind him. He turned and saw a mountain lion coming towards him. He tried to scare it off by yelling and waving his arms. It didn't work. It was going toward my, my face, so I threw up my, my hands to kind of block my face, at which point it grabbed onto my hand and wrist. The cat clung to his wrist, digging his teeth into his palm. He said it lasted only a few minutes as he wrestled with it. I remember uh, looking down and seeing the claws, like retracting and then uh, coming out of its paws. He tried stabbing it with sticks, then hitting it with a rock. Nothing worked until he shifted his weight, putting his knee on the cat's neck. The whole time worried this was it. And I was just very concerned that mom was gonna come out of nowhere and at that point that that fight would be over pretty quickly. The cat eventually gave up. Travis suffocated it. He ran three miles to get out of there, seeing other people on the trail that helped him get to the hospital when his girlfriend got the news and rushed over. I was just thankful that he had his eyes and like his fingers and all his parts and it didn't look as bad as I maybe would have thought that it could have. Looking back, it's only been a week and a half. He's still jittery, he even visited the spot where it happened, but realizes how lucky he is and how his story is one in a million. I think that's going to be the hardest part is I will never be able to live up to the reputation. And maybe that's what has led to some of my reticence for actually uh, coming out because I don't know the story is bigger than, than my, my puny form. So, yeah. West Ridge Trail had to be closed for a few days once CPW officers realized there were a couple, couple more juvenile mountain lions out there. They had to be moved to a rehab center and then will be released at a later date. Meanwhile, Travis plans to get back out on the trail soon, but he does have some advice for others out there. Don't wear earbuds and bring a friend. Live in Fort Collins, Jackie Crea, Denver 7.